Bernard Tobin here from realagriculture.com, joined today by Colin Siren from Ipsos Research. Colin, hey, thanks for uh, taking the time. Oh, thanks, Bern. Glad to have you over. Great. Hey, look, I want to talk a little bit about mobile phones and, and the mobile um, experience today. You guys have just finished um, a research project looking at, I guess, farmers' love of their mobile phones. Um, tell us about it. Yeah, that's right. So we've uh, just uh, finished uh, uh, the Ag Mobile study. This is a syndicated project that uh, we realized uh, um, uh, after our last Ag Communications Review study in 2012 that we really needed uh, to break out mobile and, and understand it as, uh, as its own piece within the communications uh, uh, realm uh, in, in agriculture. And so that's why we did it. We fielded a, a standalone study dedicated to understanding uh, how Canadian farmers use mobile phones, uh, uh, the, the, the trends, uh, that kind of information is all all included in that study. Right. Now, first question, a simple question, and I believe I know the answer, but have farmers fallen in love with their mobile phones? Yeah, they sure have. So if we look at the overall penetration of, uh, of smartphones among farmers, it, it's uh, it's actually around 80%. So uh, if you were to put that into comparison against the general public, it's it's higher. So for those, uh, I guess, the non-farming public that maybe thinks of, uh, of farming as a, a non-technology-based -techno uh, uh, industry, uh, it's certainly not true, at least to the extent that we uh, see in the, the, the smartphone ad adoption rate, which is actually higher than among consumers. Mm. What about I guess mobile versus tablets versus the old desktop. Mm -hmm. Where's where that trend going, Colin? Well, I think certainly we're seeing that uh, mobile is uh, growing, and, and so it really underlines the importance of uh, of, how, of making sure that your digital experience that you're providing to farmers uh, or to the, the general public is is really optimized to be able to be used in a mobile environment, because we have seen it finally that the critical mass has tipped in favor of, uh, of using mobile devices, those being tablets and phones, uh, to be able to, to surf the internet and to use uh, online functions. So what are what are farmers doing on the phone? What you know? What, what are they using it for? Uh, using a wide variety of things. We see uh, the same types of things that we see in our consumer studies in terms of uh, social media, um, uh, banking, uh, you know, uh, checking news and those kinds of things. But what's really interesting and unique to the to the farm population is that we're seeing a lot of business related functions and activities. And so for example, there's about 40% of farmers who uh, have, in, uh, have downloaded an app that um, uh, related to running their farm business. We also see that uh, that usage of, uh, of, of mobile devices increases during peak uh, seeding, spraying, uh, and, and harvest times and so we can see that there's a relationship there in terms of not only using phones for for personal use and the same types of things that consumers do but also in a more um, uh, a more immersive way to run and manage their businesses mm -hmm. well way back in my old days in the media we used to say hey we the media kind of went silent when farmers were uh, in harvest or planting, but what you're saying now is, hey, they are plugged in more than ever. Absolutely, I think that's that's a really uh, insightful uh, uh, way of looking at things. And that, yeah, you know, during those uh, during those key, key periods of time, you've probably got an audience that is uh, maybe perhaps more than ever uh, likely to see online advertising or be able to be open to uh, online messaging and, and perhaps even looking for for information to help them make decisions in field uh, or uh, about run, running and managing their business. Right. So agronomic advice, weather. All, all those things, things. yes. It's, we, we covered all, and captured all those in the report, and so uh, we've got lots of detail inside the, the full report, which is available for clients, uh, to be able to understand um, what exactly farmers are doing in terms of all of those types of activities with, mm -hmm. with, with a high degree of detail. What about social media? Obviously phones mm -hmm. allow you to be plugged in uh, from a digital social media perspective. Where's that fit? Yeah, no, absolutely. So we can see that that farmers are, are consumers of social media as well, and we see that uh, they, you know, relatively high adoption rates of uh, of Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. And so what's what's interesting there is you see, you know, a combination of social media use that's uh, sort of what I would what I would call sort of personal type use. You know, Facebook type of uh, keeping in touch with people. Uh, you know, being able to share your experiences with others, but also the sort of information sharing and, and receiving side of things in terms of looking at Twitter and YouTube use. Right. Hey, final question for you. I mean, what does this mean for agribusiness? I mean, you're seeing usage rates um, with phones at 50% of the screen time, for example. Mm -hmm. What do you need to do with uh, with your online experience? Well, I think your digital experience. Your digital experience. I think that your digital experience needs to be optimized for mobile. It also tells us that uh, if you're looking at, um, at uh, uh, investing in uh, uh, elaborate or, or sophisticated uh, digital approach to, to engaging and working with farmers, that the Canadian farm population is certainly ready in terms of both their, their, uh, the, uh, the incidence of having a smartphone, which is 80%, but then also the, uh, the share of those that are, are using and downloading farm-related apps and also uh, uh, clicking on farm-related advertisements 
and uh, and consuming farm related content, uh, which we see, you know, uh, as we mentioned earlier, actually increasing during those peak seasons when people are making the most decisions. And you said it earlier. I mean, um, I mean, you were surprised by a few things, including the number of click throughs on advertising and, and that that level of engagement. Mm -hmm. on the phone. Well, I think it's great. As, as, a, as a marketer, as someone who, who uh, often does market research to help advertisers, it's always really great and reassuring to see uh, that, um, uh, that uh, the campaigns of uh, some of the people in our business are, are being effective and, and uh, are clearly um, uh, providing and offering value to those who are, who are, uh, who are choosing to click and, and learn more about the topics that they're receiving advertising on. Awesome. Well, uh, Colin, hey, thanks so much for the insights. Always great to be invited to share the boardroom and uh, share some insights. <laughs> Thank you very much.